Hello, my name is Chelsea and I'm going to show you how to import a CSV file into QuickBooks Online. Occasionally, the QuickBooks bank feed will be interrupted and you may have to import your transactions for a period into the software to ensure that no transactions are missing. To do this, from the home screen, you will need to select Banking from the navigation panel on the left hand side. You will then find the Upload button from under the drop down next to Link Account. So I will use Upload from File. Next, you will need to browse to the file. To import the transactions, you will need to have the file saved in a CSV format. Most online banks do give you the option to download the transactions in a CSV format. So I've saved my file to my desktop, so I'll just find that and click Open, and then I'll click Next. QuickBooks will then ask you which bank account the file relates to, and so I will select Bank from the drop-down, and then I'll click Next. You will then need to map the CSV file so that QuickBooks knows what each column in the file is. So you will need to tell it which column the date is in and the format of the date. You will need to tell it where it can find the description and then also where the amount comes from. You will also need to select whether your file has one column with both payments and receipts in or whether they are separate columns. The software will try to work out which column is which based on the header names in your file. So you can see that QuickBooks has worked out the date and description for my file. So I will only need to tell it about the amount. So in the amount box, I'm going to choose column three amount. And my file has one column with both the positive and the negative numbers in, so I will leave that as it is. And I'll then click next. It will then ask you to review the information it's going to import and then click next if everything looks okay. So mine all looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to click next. A pop-up will then come up showing you how many transactions will be imported. So I'm going to click yes on that. Finally, if you click let's go in the bottom right hand corner, you'll then be taken back to the banking screen and you can see that all your transactions have been imported and they are now ready to be processed. If you have any queries or comments, do leave them below. If not, feel free to check out our other videos.